Good day everyone, it's Peachy and welcome to my next official Let's Play on YouTube! Oh my gosh, have I been wanting to play this game for quite the amount of time. But it's Illusion of Gaia. So for those of you who don't know what Illusion of Gaia is, it's actually a um, role-playing game where you play as one of the characters and you go through all these exotic locations, learning about the cultures and the past and in order to collect relics in order to save planet Earth. So. That's just the story, or basic gist of it, but yeah, finally I'm going to play Illusion of Gaia on my channel, so it was a work in progress trying to get this game up and running, but I'm glad to say that it's finally got it um, working and such, so we'll read the story before we get into details. <laughs> <clears throat> the world was in an age of exploration. Oh, did you guys hear that? <laughs> Looking for new lands, men uncovered the ancient relics of uh, ancient cultures. Blah. I, I thought I heard my headphones doing some weird stuff, but I think it's just me. So, ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. The vast amount of waters. You know what I mean? As time passed, many legends began to surface. Oh, really? Oh, I better check the audio. A legend from each ruin, a legend from each culture. I feel like something's on my headphones. The audio looks good. Various relics were found in the ruins. Really? Are they made of money? Gold? Oh, there it is. One of the legends told of strange statues and the shapes of spirits. <gasps> spirits? Yay! <laughs> what was a spirit to ancient people the ruins didn't tell us? Why did they not tell us? Did I take the batteries out? Okay. I know I'm saying weird stuff during the story, right? Ooh, can't wait to get to that place. People who enforced the ruins searching for wealth went in and were never seen again. Yikes. Oh man, I can't wait to get to that place. Some said there were traps to protect the treasure. Others said it was a curse. I always think it's a curse. What about you guys? I like how they're like really like blunt about it. They just show the skeletons and skulls. Pretty hilarious. No one thought these ruins would bring about disaster. Oh, look, remember that, guys. It's going to be important later on. So no one thought it was going to be important, huh? Well, guys, that was the intro for this game. So I hope you kind of got a basic understanding about what's going to happen. So I think we should get started now, and I'm very, very excited. So um, as I was saying, um, the reason why I couldn't play this game at the... Oh my gosh, I haven't heard this song in such a long time. That, oh man, that, man, that tune was so catchy back in the day. It probably still is. Okay, so anyways guys, so the reason why I couldn't play this a while back on my channel was mainly because of technical problems. Um... My Super Nintendo gave out, like, sometime after I did, uh, play Super Mario Kart, the, uh, the wiring outlet for the, um, for the system was actually, um, kind of weird. Oh good, there's a diary for me. Okay. Yeah, so there was, um, the electric outlet for the back of the Super Nintendo gave out on me one day, and I was like, oh no, I can't play none of my Super Nintendo games, so... I had to figure out a way to buy another one, so at the time I didn't have anything to get to get one, so I just left it as is. Till recently, I did get myself a new um, outlet for it, so now it works a lot better. Um, the only thing now is that um, I had to. I was going to start playing this game again, but then here I realized my Super Nintendo controller was not working. I was trying to press the start button and it wouldn't start. I was like, what happened? Why is it doing this? <laughs> yeah, so that's what happened and I had to get me myself another remote. So thankfully, um, this one is actually working. So I'm kind of glad that it is. But um, yeah, so now that we got the electric wiring, a uh, new one and then a new remote. So I think we're good to go. Now the machine is starting to give out because the reset button won't work. But oh well, that's not too much of importance. But anyways. So for Illusion of God, you have a start menu, you have start journey, erase trip jet diary, trip diary, which means to erase your adventure, your adventure, copy a trip diary means to copy another file and then change the buttons. Some people like to prefer a different set of buttons, so you can do that anytime through the game, but I always like using the standard set, so we'll start with that. 
So without further ado guys, let's start our journey. So we're going to do diary number three and start from the beginning. So let's go! Arrange, oh okay. Oh yeah, see right here is the button type. Yeah, you can have like one or two. I always prefer one. Sound, we're going to leave it in stereo so you guys can hear on both sides of your headphones. So let's get started. But yeah, I've been really looking forward to playing this game. Oh my gosh, I love that song too. School. <laughs> Actually, in Japanese, it's um the church, I believe, or something they call it. Okay. Hi, my name is Will. A year has passed since I went to the Tower of Babel with my father. My father and his party met with disaster. Somehow, I made it back to South Cape. Haha, <laughs> you know where South Cape is, guys? I still can't believe my father is gone. I'll never believe it. When I grow up, I'll be an explorer and see the world. Somewhere I will meet my father. It's kind of cool that in this game you actually have your father. Or your father is mentioned in this game. I need my phone just in case. Teacher. Um, let's see. Well, that's all for today's lesson. You fail, you fall, do your best not to fall behind. Demons have appeared outside of town. If you must go very far, you must go with your parents. Is what the teacher said. Said, hey, I'll see you guys at the usual place. <laughs> Eric. Uh, I have to g go home f f first. I'll see you guys th th there later. Uh, okay. If you don't hurry ho home, your mother will think that you were uh, kept at school. <laughs> Bye. And then he just takes off. And that's when we start. Yes, yeah, so I bet you. Were oh, I should have did like a little joke and said, "Which character do you think I am, guys?" But here I moved already. But anyways. So this is the main character of the game. You're not equipped. What am I not equipped with? A textbook? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the main character of the game. His name is Will, as you have saw earlier. So this is our desk and stuff. So we'll talk to our buddy. Oh, uh, let's see. Lance. Like I always, like always, the cave at the seashore. He said. I don't know. That may not be a good voice. Um, like, I, like always, the cave at the seashore. <laughs> they all blunt. Alrighty. Oh, Will, please recite with me. The world shines on brightly through eternity. That's it? That was lame. <laughs> so this is South Cape. We got all this awesomeness that is what is a blue roof. Who could not believe a blue roof, right? Okay. Hey, Will. How many times have I told you not to come up here? You have a habit of jumping down from places. Well, I guess I can't really stop you. He's just like, oh, well, I can't stop you from jumping down, so, ooh, I'm gonna do it again! Nobody thought that was possible, right? <laughs> okay. I'm the jewel... Oh, this guy's actually somewhat important if you want to officially complete the game, so we don't need to worry about him too much. I am the jeweler... jewelerer gem. I control the seven seas. What's your business? Just wanted to see you. Give you red jewels. See your inventory. I'll give you goods for your jewels as written on the list. So yeah, you need to give, um, these, there's, there's like jewels in this game, they're like red, and they have like sort of flames inside, so that's what he wants, so. He can give you, if you give him three herbs, or three jewels, you get a herb, five defense, eight a life, strength 12, psycho and dark power, and then his secret is 50 of them. What could his secret be? Well, we'll find out much later on, but for now, we're just gonna leave it, okay? Is that right? How do you do? Once you hold the red jewels, you'll have to come to run into my place. I'm a famous master of disguises, so if you see me in another town, you wouldn't know me. He just lies about that. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. So, yeah. So this is our hometown. You better get used to it, cause you, uh, you better um, start liking it very quick, cause it's gonna get old very, very fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. What was that line? Okay. So this game. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She said. This, it's strange, this game is like red light, green light. How long have we been playing this? <laughs> I've been playing this game for so long we wouldn't know. Oh no! What are you doing this child, honestly? She gets all scared because I um, fell from the roof. It's okay lady, I have like five lives to spare. <laughs> Gosh, I can't pull it up, he says for some reason. It's like, okay, what does he want? Look at the way the water graphics looks back in the day, guys. Amazing, right? So I guess we'll go into the sea cape. Seaside cave! 
Uh, it was natural for the four friends to call this seaside cave their second home. Usually when lessons were done at the school, they gathered there to talk and play games until sundown. Huh. <laughs> one of our, one of my classmates' last name was Sundown. I just always thought that was pretty cool. Anyways. Oh, I'm going to win for again for sure. You really will, huh? Uh, what is it, Will? It's late. I'm playing cards with Seth. Wait a minute. So the purple guy is Seth. Suddenly, Eric rushed in with a desperate look on his face. Uh, uh, but the news! B -b 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 big news! The princess of Ed Princess! <laughs> you guys know me. I had to have a princess game aside from Mario, right? <clears throat> The p p p princess of uh, Edward Castle has r run away. Uh, they, they, they say she came to s s South Cape. Uh, uh, uh. Eric, calm yourself. <laughs> Why don't you sit down, your burdens, and have a game with us? Is that all? You came in such a hurry that I thought something really big had happened. The princess is probably that spoiled little girl, Kara, the one you like so much. L l liar! M maybe the soldiers will come l l looking for her. The soldiers from uh, Edward Castle looks as cool. I want to steal him too. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and then after that, it's just business as usual. We'll get over. We'll get over here and sit next to Eric. <laughs> everyone's here. Uh, everyone's here. What should we do today? Should we give Seth like an accent? Everyone's here. What should we do today? I, I want to see Will's mysterious powder. He, he hasn't seen it yet. He can move things with, with, without t t touching them. He moved that statue that's in the corner of that cave. Will, show us again. He's like totally bored. Oh, it moved. Oh, in order to do that, you press the L and R button. I should have talked about the mechanics before we started. Um, You have like this flute that you use. So as you can see right here. When you use the flu, it makes the objects move. It's pretty amazing. Comes in handy at through the games too, so. But we're not like in a fighting stage, so it's gonna be kind of weird for now. So we just sit back here. If only I could do that! Oh yes, totally jealous, aren't you, Eric? <laughs> Next, pick a card, any card. I'll pick I'll put four cards face down. Pick the one you think is the ace of diamonds, okay, Will? <laughs> we made Eric look, I mean, not Eric, uh, Lance this total obnoxious jerk, right guys? But, um, you don't worry, he'll get over it sooner than you think. Pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds, okay? Jaw. Jaw. Will picks up the card. It's the Ace of Diamonds, of course. Liar, they're all Ace of Diamonds. Ah! Right! The nail job. I'm just speechless. Hey, Seth, is this some type of psychic p power, right? <laughs> his face always looked weird in that, um... Oh, or his sprite always looked weird, but you can kind of see it if you look really well. Because it kind of looks like he's got like big old chickmunk cheeks and his eyes are like white or something. But it's really his glasses that you need to focus on. Yeah, it must be some kind of psychic power thing. If I didn't know better, I think it was magic. Most people have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. I always like how the dialogue was written in colors. Because, you know, like in other games, when they had the dialogue, it was always like one standard color. This one, they actually put colors into their, um, um, I guess, speech bubbles. So I thought that was a pretty cool, unique idea. I don't think I've ever seen any other games do that. No, 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 Mario. I guess? Uh, no, I think there were some games. I don't know. I, th I think Will's psychic power is some kind of sixth sense. What Seth says is too complicated for me to understand. Um, I said something really fast and I don't care because I'm a jerk. <laughs> huh. Once more game, one more game with Seth and I'm going home. Okay. If only I could to do that. That's what you just said, dude. What the heck? <laughs> I'm gonna win game for sure. It's like then they're like just totally a bliss to what just happened a while ago, right guys? <laughs> Pretty comical stuff. South Cape! Dang, look, it's already dark time. It was already dark by the time Will left the cave. Oh, okay. So I guess we gotta go home and get ready for dinner. Gosh, I can't pull it up! He still can't pull it up? Well, that's weird. 
Alrighty, so I guess we should visit this one house. Hey, look at the wind animation too. I always thought that was pretty cool. The way they have it breezing through the wind. So. Wah! <laughs> no sooner was the door to Seth's house open than a jar came flying out. Oh my gosh, the place is haunted. Well, not really. There's just these weird parents. Seth's father, what's wrong with having a little fun with my hard-earned money? Said Seth's dad. Seth's mom, it's no joke that man. I put up with it for Seth's sake, but if I weren't, if it weren't for him, I had left long ago. Yeah, so Seth's parents always arguing for some reason. This is Lance's house. He lives here with his frail mother. I like how it's like frail, like she's fragile or something. Lance's mother, your father has been lost at the Tower of Babel for a year now. It seems only like yesterday. Thanks, lady, for reminding us. <laughs> the basement. Oh, what did he say? Something about a jewel? Hey, what are you doing down here? Trying to spy on me? Oh, I guess she's supposed to show you what, what to take, right? Yeah, I think I got one of the jewel. There it is. Yeah, so this is the jewel I was telling you about earlier for that merchant. So you need to collect it. So that's what you need to do, okay? And just go back upstairs and then let's go. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> My friend Eric lives here. This is the biggest house in South Kick. We'll envy people born to rich families. <laughs> yeah, Eric's totally balling in cash. It's the little things in life that make you rich or poor. Will heard any good stories? No thanks. None that I want to share with you. Eric's father. Everyone is jealous of this big house. It's nothing. We moved to this town before anyone else, right? <laughs> They just had like enough land to build all this nonsense, right? Is this Eric's mom? Don't worry, I'm not on fire. It's just a treatment for my sore body. Cleaning this big house all day makes my brain irk. Irk. <laughs> Ache. Who ever heard of an irk? So I guess these are what Eric's sisters or something like that. I'm worried. There's been a lot of strange merchants lately doing business. Oh, you are. Okay. This is my house. That pie that Grandma Lola is making smells really great. Oh, it does, huh? Hey, look! A pig! Hooray! The pig's wrecking the room! But why is there a pig in my house? He's like all exclaiming, like, what the heck? There's a pig in here. Hey, dude, I want to go. Hold it! Many demons are prowling around outside town. Didn't your teacher warn you not to leave town without your parents? Well, tough luck. My dad's gone, so... I can leave whenever I want. The pig's wrecking the room! But why is there a pig in my house? <laughs> it's kind of like he's saying the same thing. Oink oink, oink oink. I like how they have their little animation like that. Well, I was trying to go upstairs, but then um, the game was like, Oh no, sorry, no stairs for you. Oh look! <clears throat> it's a pink girl, hurry! We are a sucker for ladies. Oh, Kara! So that's the princess, huh? As many of you know, we're suckers for princesses in pink outfits, right, everyone? Kara, Hamlet, you shouldn't snort at strangers. Is this your house? Uh, yeah, so. But this, she's a brunette this time around. Frankly, you look a little shabby. Well, excuse. <laughs> Excuse me, princess. Your father, mother, not here? Huh? She's like totally sad. Is this a picture of your parents? My father is an explorer, he... Oh, I know. Alaman the explorer. They say he was lost. He'll come back someday. Are you sad? No? I'd be sad if it were me. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So she's... Anyway, is there a piano here? No, there isn't. Dang, he's all like, like yelling at her because of the exclamation point. But Grandma Lola is a great singer. They're, they're singing upstairs now. They have such loud voices. <laughs> Come on, Piggy, let's go. They're singing upstairs. They have such loud voices. She's screaming. Screaming, she says. So I guess we better go upstairs. Hey guys, what? Excuse me, guy. <clears throat> Had a sudden urge to yawn. 
Well, um, welcome home, Bill. When I sing opera, I lose track of time. Dinner's not ready yet. <laughs> wow, well, my, I haven't sung like this in a long time. Your grandmother, your grandmother Lola, used to be a singer. I fell in love with her voice. That's why I married her. <laughs> that was the only standards back in the day, huh? If you love their voice, you could marry them. Ah, oh, you bringing up a thing like that? Well, you well, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that. The girl who was singing with me a minute ago. No! Uh oh. Why is she saying no? A scream from downstairs. Oh man, I love that tune too. It's so hilarious. Well, not hilarious, just very catchy. You'll probably see that later on too. It's that girl screaming. Here, we gotta go find out what's going on. She's being kidnapped. Princess! I've been looking for you. I don't know you. Be gone! What are you saying? If I don't take you home, I'll lose my head. Uh oh. Off of his head! Kara. <clears throat> Kara. Why do I care if you lose your head? Princess! Do you think I have nothing better to do than chase you down? I must take you home. It's the king's orders. So this princess has a king and queen, or her parents, I guess. I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm King Edward's daughter, Kara. I f will. I feel as though we've met before, as if we were good friends. So she believes we've met before, huh? Crazy. <laughs> well, that's what ha well, that's what happened, guys. Some soldiers breaking in, or I guess princesses coming to our house, getting invaded by soldiers and random pigs blocking doors. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. Uh, Lola, Edward's castle. There's a big vo va Whoa, I never seen that word before. What is that viaduct? Let me see. Check the computer. It's got all our knowledge for us now, right, guys? Okay, uh, Vayadet. Let's see. So the computer says how to say this word is taking forever. Oh, I, I forgot my headphones is it plugged into the computer, guys. Sorry. But anyways, the it says it sounds like it says Vayadet, something like that. It says a long bridgeway-like structure, typically a series of arches carrying a road or railroad across a valley or a lower ground. Oh, that makes sense. There's a big dungeon under the castle. Your grandfather designed it. What? Really? I used to be an architect. There's a prison under the castle. It's built like a maze to keep the prisoners from escaping. I feel bad that I built a prison where people disappear and are never heard from again. Does he really? <laughs> Enough serious talk, darling. It's eat time. I've made a delicious pie. Let's sit at the table upstairs. That'd be kind of cool if I could do that. I have a dinner table downstairs and upstairs, but I don't live at a two-story house no more. <laughs> we sat down to a feast of snail pie with whipped cream. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, you gotta love that snail pie. Who wouldn't love snail pie? I only got one piece, but Grandpa Bill ate like half the pie. Lame. That night, Will dreamt that Kara and he took a trip around the world. Around the world in 80 days. Well, I guess it'll be 79 days, correct everyone? And the next morning, something began to happen. What was... What, that's kind of weird how they are like, oh, uh, something weird happened, so get to it. <laughs> I guess we'll go downstairs. I had more. I had more. I had more snail pie for breakfast. I left you a slice. Oh, hey, we get another pie. Thanks, Grandpa. Good morning, darling. A letter has come for you from King Edward. King Edward? Uh oh. He must have thought we were holding Kara for ransom. This is what is written in the letter. Bring the cus bring the crystal ring from Oliman's things to Edward's castle. King Edward. I've been in I've been in a bad mood ever since I saw this letter. Oh well, I'll teach you a spell. When I'm upset humming this tune, it makes me feel better. 
Lola, I'm the strange melody. Oh no, that's her voice, right? Lola, I'm the strange melody. That's pretty. <laughs> Even though Will had never heard of it before, it seemed oddly familiar. Even though he's practically lived with Grandma Lolo and Grandpa Bill, so he should have known that song long, long ago. But we didn't, so I guess now is a good time as ever. Thanks, Grandma, for not teaching me that song earlier. Could have helped me in on um, show and tell. Be careful. Hey, Grandpa, you want to wrap that pie up for me to go? A crystal, a crystal ring? Never heard of it. There was nothing like that in the luggage your father, Olaban, left behind. <laughs> He's all like, um, what do you say? Um, maybe we could go to Evercastle. We could see the princess. <laughs> oh my gosh, Grandpa, really? You're married to Grandma Lolo and you want to go see a young girl? Talk about pedophile. Jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I guess we have to go see King Edward. Oddly enough, though, um, there is no castle as we explored this town in its entirety, right? So no um, castle means we're going to have to find another way to get there. Let's talk to this guy really quick. You look like a fast runner. To run, push the control pad twice. There we go. I think I was doing that earlier, but I didn't know the buttons, right, guys? Oh well, it's all a work in progress to get it all worked out and stuff. Okay, I guess we could go over there now. King Edward has summoned you to the castle? Well, just be careful. Oh, I'll try to be careful. Yeah, map music! Where do you want to go? So yeah, you can choose either to go to Edward's castle or just quit and go home. <laughs> I guess, uh, let's see, I guess we could spend a few more minutes going to Edward's castle. I love the way they did this, um, map screen. World map, it's pretty cool. Very catchy. Edward's castle. Whenever I saw those maps like that, I always thought of Mario, because, you know, the pipes. It looked like a pipe, too. Edward's castle. Da 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 Uh oh. Did the game freeze? <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, guys, the game froze. <laughs> oh man. Well, I guess we'll have to cut it here because, you know, the game froze. And, and well, I don't mind replaying the intro, but I will get here a lot faster. Um, I guess we'll catch you next time. Oh, wait a minute, guys. I think not. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. The game didn't freeze. You just, I just wanted to hear the music and mess with you. Soldier, this is King Edward's castle. I must import, report this intrusion. Will shows the letter to the guard. A guest of the king? I'm sorry, you may pass. He just apologizes. I don't think the knights back in the day would do that. They were just like, I'll take you to the king. Like, so bluntly. King Edward is having breakfast. Wait a while, then enter. <laughs> I don't think King's Hat could do that too, right guys? I don't know. Hey, talk to me. Recently, a hunter was hired. I wonder what the king is thinking. A hunter? Who's this hunter you speak of, maid? Answer me now! Oh well. They just walk in unison. It must be tiring to be a guard too. Especially considering you're putting your life on the line for no pay. How much did the knights get paid back in the day? So your will? You were summoned by King Edward? Be careful when you meet with him. Yeah, that does not sound cool at all. I... I love you. Oh, Famous words. Well, he's shy. I'm glad that somewhere in the world there is someone who is thinking of me. <laughs> She's just like, oh, okay. Hey, why can't I get in there? This is the princess's room. Strangers can't enter. Who is it? It's Kara. I guess. This is just a shabby boy. It's me, Kara. Oh, that voice. Let him in or I'll tell everyone your own nickname. Oh, uh, pardon me. Please enter. He gets all scared afterwards. You, yesterday. 
I was told to bring the crystal ring to King Edward, aka your father. And she does this like, little hop jump. Terrible, it's just terrible. Again, my father's trying to take something important from someone. I have escaped from the castle before. Now they won't let me go. Recently, something very strange has happened in the castle. My mother has hired a famous hunter. It's anonymous. Ominous. Princess, let's go. I have. I feel sacred. I mean, scared. My father and mother have seemed to have changed. Please save me. Take me out of here, please. Princess. Please come back, Will. Okay, well, I'll try to get you. You know, it's kind of funny. Like whenever I look at the background, it kind of reminds me of that one spring water. Um. What was it called? Arrowhead? That's what it kind of reminded me of whenever I see that background. Like, hey, now I need some arrowhead water. Alrighty guys, so hopefully the story has caught your attention by this point in time. It looks like the king is done with breakfast. What did he have? Probably snail soup. But anyways guys, I hope you will enjoy the project as I am very, very psyched to see this game in its entirety. So I will catch you next time for more Illusion of Gaia on the next episode, okay? Bye!